So, Corey, how are we doing, man? What's up? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Uh, it's fight week, main event here in Nashville. Just kind of talk me through, you know, obviously accepting the fight and kind of how that process went for this one. Yeah, I'm really excited, man. I'm really glad that I get to fight still, of course. Uh, I trained like real hard for like three months for this one. So, uh, yeah, really excited that I get to fight. Uh, I got a call from my agent just... It was at like a weird time. It was like at night or something. And I was like, ah, this isn't going to be good. Umar's probably pulling out. I answered. Umar pulled out. I said, okay, well, who are we fighting instead? Uh, he said, potentially Rob Font. And I was like, cool, that works for me. I thought that he was fighting Song, but Song's blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so yeah, I was, I'm glad that Rob Font is taking the fight. I don't know if I'd be fighting if he didn't. So uh, I'm grateful to him for taking the fight. Yeah, you know I know you said on your social media when the initial fight with Uma was announced, like, hey, I want to be the best. I want to fight whoever. So was that kind of the mentality that it didn't really matter what name they kind of tossed at you? You're going to say yes regardless? Uh, I was probably going to say yes regardless, to be honest. Uh, but I'm glad that it's, like, someone like Rob Font, who's, like, real experienced, coming off of a real good win, uh, has, like, some momentum behind him a little bit for, because, he, you know, he knocked the shit out of that guy in the last fight. So... Um, so yeah, I'm glad that it, like, it worked out good, you know, like, uh, Rob Font isn't some dude, you know, like, he's, a he's, like I said, he's coming off a good win, he's been around for a real long time, and he's beaten some really good guys. Yeah, when you look at the landscape of the division, right, I mean, there's a lot gonna, gonna go on in bantamweight in the next few weeks, kind of, what do you feel like the division is kind of, kind of transitioning right now, where do you kind of feel like, like it's going? Uh, uh, good question, um, I don't know, uh, I yeah I, I don't really know to be honest I I think uh, I think I've been at the top for a real long time and I'm sick of just hanging out in the top five and I'm ready to uh, be champ and uh, yeah that's I I really only think about myself when it comes to the division to be honest <laughs> it's just a lot of thinking about myself and how I can get what I want you know yeah with Rob Font you still f see that path though right because if it was maybe someone who wasn't as highly ranked it would have been more challenging so do you kind of feel like with Rob stepping in, it, it does that path still is there, right? Uh, to get to the belt? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I mean, aside from Rob, you, you don't really have too many other people that I think have much of an argument. Like uh, Cejudo got like a really golden gift coming out of retirement, fighting for the belt. It was close, but I think he probably has a couple until he gets to fight for the belt again. You have, uh, of course, Marab, who's on like a real good win winning streak doesn't want to fight Aljamain and is hurt right now. I'm coming off a real good win against Song with a stoppage and then a really fight that I won by a mile against Cheeto. And then this fight against Rob Vaughn, I go out and I look really spectacular like I feel like I typically do when I win. Uh, I, I feel like there's really no other argument for anyone else except for me. And then style-wise, what do you make of Rob and how he kind of fights and how you two will look in there on Saturday? Yeah, Rob, I mean, Rob's biggest weapon is his pressure. He, he does, like, he's super offensive, and he, has, and he puts a ton of pressure on. So that's his biggest weapon. Uh, I think that I have all the attributes to, you know, like, really big time throw a wrench in that. I'm long, and I move my feet real good. Like, that's a really big pain in the ass for a guy whose biggest advantage is throwing his jab from a long ways away, you know, and, and putting a ton of pressure. Like, you don't want to fight someone that's taller than you and has really good footwork when you're when that's, like, your biggest advantage. So I think that I just have a lot of really good skills that negate what he does best, and I think that I'm more versatile. I think that I'm, like, the more modern, well-engineered weapon, and I think that uh, I'm going to do real good on Saturday. Hey, Corey. I know you had talked in the past on some podcasts about like meditation and like self hypnosis. Is that still like a big thing going into the fights? Oh uh, yeah, I do. I do it like uh, like every morning when I wake up for about an hour. I'll turn on. I really like this dude, Michael Seely. He has a YouTube stage or, or a YouTube whatever the fuck it's called page, um, and uh, I like just do a hypnosis with him. Um, it's not like you know, fucking, like, weird stuff where I'm, like, programming my mind. You know, it's not like that. But uh, I get to, like, see the fight. I get to see, like, all of the avenues and the pathways of what could potentially happen in the fight, address all of them. I get to, like, you know, like, calm my nervous system a lot because, obviously, fighting people literally every single day, like, really ramps up your nervous system. So uh, it, like, makes me healthier up here and kind of just in general when I do things like that. But, uh, yeah, I do that, like, 
every day for about like 40 to an hour. And then you're probably one of, if not the most technical striker in the division. Is that still something you're working on every day in training or are you more focused on like say the wrestling or the jujitsu aspect? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's everything. I, I think that, I mean, I have real good coaches, man. Like uh, Christian Allen, who doesn't get talked about a lot because he just uh, doesn't care to. Um, really good striking coach, really creative guy. Um, I have Carrington Banks, who's a really good wrestler from Iowa. And then I have Ryan Hall as like my grappling coach. So like, I really feel super equipped as far as like what I'm learning and the path and the direction that I'm going in. But no, I, I work everything about the same. You know, I, I try to get just as good. I mean, a lot of the strikers, to be honest with you, probably in like a straight just striking match, like kickboxing fight, could probably do pretty well against me. But the fact that now I can out-wrestle the guys that have a chance at beating me in striking, uh, I feel like that's like how to win. You know, like that's like why would I do that if there's even an option for you to win that? I'm not going to do that with you. And then big difference, obviously, going to be in the first round between like a guy like Rob Font and a guy like Cheeto Vera that you fought. I mean, Cheeto's a guy that kind of likes to download the data and, you know, come on later on in the fight. Whereas Rob Font, you know, I mean, he'll throw right out of the gate. So are you expecting fireworks starting in the first round? Yeah, I don't really go into fights with too much expectation of anything. Like, he could come out like a bat out of hell, or he could come out and try to play it slow. Uh, he was scheduled for a three-round fight, not a five-round fight, so I don't know how that's going to impact what he's doing. He's having to fight someone that's really unorthodox on two-and-a-half weeks' notice. I don't know how he's going to react to that. So I, I do think that Rob is pretty consistent in the way that he does things, and I think that... Uh, you know, his like I said, his biggest weapon is his pressure, and he has a ton of volume, and he's super offensive. And I think that uh, I'm pretty, I, I'm very similar to him. I think that I do mine in a bit of a safer, safer manner. But uh, yeah, I think that we have a lot of similarities, and I'm really excited to fight someone that's gonna like fight me back. You know. And uh, has there been any interaction between you guys this week? Have you guys come cross paths or anything? Uh, yeah, I mean, I just said we saw each other in the hotel and just said hello, and that was about it. Cool. Stylistically, does Umar or Font run, you know, work into your game plan better? Uh, Font's more familiar, but uh, I mean, Font's had a ton of success with what he does. You know, like the guy's been around for a really long time. I was looking at his sure dog the other day. He had, you know, like he's had 15 fights in the UFC and I think been here for like, you know, seven or eight years or something, maybe even longer. So, uh, you know, the, everyone poses their different challenges, you know. I, I think Umar was the more unorthodox, trickier style to try to figure out. And right when I feel like I had, like, a lot of the answers to the test and all I had to go do was ace it, um, the fight got switched. But fighting a guy like Font is something that I've done in the past. Like, I'm real familiar with that style. So it isn't like I'm switching from Font to Umar which would be, you know, a different scenario. It's a really unorthodox guy to an orthodox guy that I'm familiar fighting. So, um, yeah, that's the way that I see this one. And you had spoken about the original offer by the UFC, you know, for you to take the Umar fight because you said everybody else was denying him that chance. Uh, does that offer still stand? Have you heard anything from them? Uh, as far as what? Fighting Umar? As far as far as fighting for the uh, number one title or number one contender. Oh, uh, I, yeah, I, I believe that I will go out, I win this fight in a manner that I fight, like, which is exciting, you know, like I don't really have to stress too much about having an exciting style. Uh, yeah, I think I'll be the next guy to fight for the belt. And Sterling versus O'Malley, who do you prefer to win that and who do you think wins it? Uh, I think that they both, I, I mean, I think Sterling's going to win just because I think he's a way better competitor than O'Malley is. But uh, I want to fight Sterling because I want my revenge, you know, and I don't want him to leave the division and have us all look like a bunch of bitches uh, without, like, taking an L before he takes off. Um, so I want my revenge on Sterling. But from, like, a fan perspective, I know everyone wants to watch me and O'Malley fight. So uh, it's kind of a win-win for me as far as those two go. So uh I get past Font, I fight real good, I perform, I stay focused. When I fight for the belt, I think it's going to be like a, a really exciting matchup either way. Good. Cool. See you guys.